How creepy is Uncle Joe Biden? He goes full creep mode around women of all ages. He's been known for being inappropriate with women, even younger girls. This is very creepy, and we'll share some stories on how creepy he really is, now. This is an interaction with Biden at a 2014 campaign event as described in a personal essay. Written by former Nevada state legislator Lucy Flores, and published by New York Magazine. Flores claims that the vice president approached her from behind, kissed the back of her head and touched her shoulders. She claims the actions weren't illegal, but she felt uncomfortable because of them. The event wasn't sexual, according to Amy Lapis, a former congressional aide who saw Biden rubbing noses with her at a fundraiser in 2009. However, she adds that Biden violated clearly a line of decency and a line of respect. Two additional women approached the New York Times on Tuesday with identical tales that, in their words, made them uncomfortable. You. He's definitely a major creeper. It gets worse. This is exactly what she says about the incident. I made my way to the speaker's waiting area, where people were mingling, posing for pictures, and getting ready to address the many voters present. We were led to the side of the stage just before the speeches and lined up according to sequence of introduction. I felt two hands on my shoulders while I was taking deep breaths and getting ready to present my argument to the audience. I froze. Why is the American vice president touching me, I asked. From behind, I sensed him getting closer to me. He breathed in my hair as he leaned closer. I felt ashamed. I didn't wash my hair today, and the Vice President of the United States is smelling it, I'm used to myself. And what the hell is going on? Why does the United States Vice President smell like my hair? He then started kissing the back of my head slowly and deeply. My mind was unable to comprehend what was taking place. I felt ashamed. I felt stunned. I was perplexed. Trágame tierra, which translates to earth, swallow me whole, is a Spanish proverb. Neither could I speak nor could I move. The one thing I wanted more than anything was for Biden to leave. I heard my name called, and I was never happier to get on stage in front of an audience. All there is to it is that. Flores makes no claims that Biden violated any laws, followed up in any way, intimidated, hindered, or otherwise interfered with her career. She is merely stating the fact that there she was, a young woman working as a professional alongside an older man. He was supposed to be there to help her, but all he did was sniff her hair and kiss the back of her head, making her uncomfortable. Although the precise incident is fresh, it is hardly a secret that Biden occasionally says and does things that make some of the ladies in his presence uncomfortable. The first instance of this is when Biden talks about how his father told him his number one responsibility. As a young boy was to keep the males away from your sister, he then goes to a brother and sister pair and tells the young man. You're in trouble. In the following, he inquires about the age of a freshly elected senator's daughter. Biden laughs. I hope you've got huge dogs surrounding the house, to deter the lads from approaching her when she reveals she's 16 years old. The unsuitable behavior of Biden regarding women is neither new nor a secret. There are plenty of pictures, videos, and articles when you search for Joe Biden, creepy, or cringe in Google. Biden approaches ladies and girls of all ages from behind, caressing their shoulders, rubbing their backs, teasing their hair, whispering in their ears, and occasionally giving them obscene kisses while quietly pleading with them to stop. During Ash Carter's swearing in as defense secretary in 2015, Biden massaged Stephanie Carter's shoulders. Carter actually turned around mid-speech and placed his own hand on his wife's shoulder to get Biden to move on. Although Stephanie defended Biden in a blog for Medium for reassuring her when she was uncharacteristically anxious. Several women watching were made extremely uncomfortable. The same year, as Senator Chris Coons took the oath of office, Biden leaned down and kissed his daughter. Then 13 years old, despite her persistent pulling away. To get Biden to turn around, her mother had to repeatedly tap his shoulder. Coons downplayed what we all witnessed in a subsequent interview with Fox News Sunday with Chris Wallace. I have to ask, does, your daughter, think the vice president is weird, because a lot of people have been talking about it? Chris, no, Coons answered. The vice president is not weird in her opinion. 
but those two occurrences sparked a national debate about what's wrong with Joe Biden? Is he a creep? Is his old-fashioned ways and weakness for women a natural thing? Or is he flat out the creepiest president in history? What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe.